Welcome back to another episode of Liberty and Morality Defined Presents. Unity is difficult to forge. The most commonly noticeable unifications of people in humanity's history are through government, through nationalistic style collective excitement. This unification is forged through underlying fears, and all fears leave rifts within the ranks founded upon them. But loyalty does not do this. There is no fear in loyalty when the foundation is pure, for only people who care for one another can be betrayed by one another. Friendship, trust, and emotionally powerful and aged connections are the things tested, the things proven true. And then there is the devotion to such passion and love of these things that makes betrayals of little importance. But why? Because betrayal is always founded in the corruption of reason by emotion instead of using emotion to fuel the drive for greater clarity in reason is why. This is the fundamental difference between fear-based unity and loyalty-based unity. Governments forge unity and bonds through the destruction of peace of mind in others, be it the so-called foreign enemies of government and the citizenry alike. To not support them is to be against them for both. This mantra is more aptly understood as might makes right. But beneath the idea of loyalty is the understanding of why we cannot sow and reap a field in the same day. Like cultivating plants with water and fertilizer, we must love and care for the value others place upon themselves. It makes little difference how much or little value they place on themselves. What makes all the difference in the world is the recognition of that value. Doing that and that alone is the foundation of creating loyalty. A man will move mountains, drain oceans, and wrangle stars for the woman he loves when the connections they make peacefully, voluntarily, and earnestly together are meant to neutralize fear instead of conceal it, instead of bottle it up, and harness it as a shield that will eventually be used as a weapon. This same idea is also the fundamental building block of all voluntary exchange. We do not expect or desire hostility with others. So clarity is the goal with all interactions. But when there is fear of negative reprisal for non-compliance, there is certainly a fault in the foundation of the connection made. Without connections desired in their creation, People will readily sever them, even if they are meant to be for their own good. The connections we make must come from a desire through all parties involved to be maintained. Understanding the purpose of the connection is not always necessary, but allowing the connection through honestly peaceful means is. And it is through this that the recognition of the value others place upon themselves is realized to be among the most important concepts used to build the idea of morality. It is here where the, con the coercion of government finds its greatest fault. The fear of being shamed, vocally ostracized, and eventually physically harmed for non-compliance is the ever-present fear in all connections to interact made by government, its supporters, and all it presumes the right to affect. This is unity built upon fear, and it is destined to fail in due time when the admittance of free minds in its ranks outnumbers the admittance of nescient minds. True unity will only ever be achieved through voluntary means, through the recognition of the value others place upon themselves whom we wish to peacefully interact with. This is the purpose of peace and goodwill towards men. To do the least we can, befitting the title of a civilized member of humanity, is to recognize in those we meet the value they place upon themselves, and to let them know that we see it, we respect it, and we honor it when we say, I wish you a good day, sir. That is a spirit humanity strives to remember every day of its existence, through it, though it is frequently revealed to be a secret kept until the December holiday season, where men and women wish one another goodwill. For now, I'd like to thank you for your time. If you found this helpful, please like, share, and give it a thumbs up. 
I base all of my work on my books, Liberty Defined and Morality Defined. If you'd like to encourage more content like it, please visit my website, jimlimberdavis.com, to explore more of my works, download free copies of my books, and please consider donating even one, $1 to help encourage more works like this. Thank you so much for taking a peacefully proactive solution in raising humanity's pinnacles of success faster and more efficiently through peaceful comprehension and creation instead of hostile ridicule and destruction.